Okay, let me answer number two here first. And uh, what you did was actually right, so it should have worked. So let me show you how to set this up. So we'll, uh, well, first off, let me show you the result of it. Uh, open up a new tab. And here it is, headline. And when this slowly comes in, loom, curl, yes, wow. Um, so I have a headline and I have my Calendly link. So all I did is come over here and grab the embed code from Calendly. And then um, what I did in here is um, just set up a full order page and a full OTO page. And so let's just take a look at what these are. You can name them anything you want. I just did that so I know when I come back and look at this again later. And um, as you see here on my page, all I did is I put in the uh, headline element and then I put in the HTML box and I dropped the embed code into that. And I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that, so I won't walk through it. And then as far as products go, I set up no products at all. So there's no product in there. And all you got to do is when you add a new page, uh, now what's it doing? When you add a new page, you can do this with either the OTO or the order form type, doesn't matter. I'll just call this test for right now. And uh, you just grab the page type and you drop it in. And we'll give this a second to heat up here. So you got sales and let's just grab order form and you can grab any one of these order forms and completely delete it out. Or what I always do is I create a blank template for every one of the page types that I use and it's in here somewhere. Whoop, I just saw it. Where'd it go? Yep, there it is. So we'll just select that blank template. And we'll click to open it up. So I just grab the order form page type. You can grab an OTO. You can grab a maybe a down sell. Don't know. Have never tested down sell. No reason to if you can grab the other two. And then you just put in the stuff you want. And, and in this case here, we're going to put in our HTML code, come over to Calendly, copy that code from Calendly. And drop it in there save it and you'll get the same result I had over here, except I didn't put a headline in this one. And that should be it, I think, because yeah, so just grab a OTO or an order form page type, put whatever you want on the page, HTML box, drop the embed code into it and don't have to send any products or do anything else. I guess the one thing I didn't show you here, let's go into the area. And we'll come down, and this is where I had it set down here. So we're going to restrict our access. And, of course, you can have whatever product you want right here. And then um, how come there's no access restricted here? Sh certainly should be. And these are all alphabetical according to the name of the funnel. So we'll come down here to – had been set. I don't know why I turned it off because it was it's actually working right. Um, huh. Well, it was working right. Something happened here, and the two pages, the full order and the full OTO are gone. So it should say full order and full OTO here, and then you pick that one, and then it works. So I don't know what happened. It was working, and you saw it working over here. So for some reason, I just lost them. But you get the idea. Just grab that that page type. Uh, or that page name. So here we have order, which corresponds to order, OTO, OTO. So we should have a full order and full OTO here right next to it. Pick that one, that page where you set it up, and then it should work just fine. Okay, what happened with that last one was I came in and I created the the page. So created both of these pages, full order, the full OTO, put in a headline, put in the Calendly link into the HTML. And then in both cases, I came up and I created a product for both of them. 
And then I associated them with the area page. So I restricted them with the area. And I'll show you that in a second here. But then what I did is I said, okay, well, I want to test it and see if this works without having the product in there. And it did work without the product. It's just that you can't find it anymore. And even though it's still associated with it, and it doesn't say anything about there being an OTO there. So the best thing to do with this is to come in and create a product. All I did is I just called it faux order, wasabi, whatever all that was, and product details. I made it $1 and save it and do all that. Same thing with the OTO. Again, create it order form type here, OTO type here. You can use either one. And then we can come into the area and we can set our restrictions on it at that point because now it's going to appear. So apparently it does not appear on this list. What is going on now? Okay. Um, it, huh. um, it does not appear on this list unless there's a product in there. And if you take the product out, it will no longer appear on the list. So here it is right there now. It's on the list. And then it will work just like it did before. Let's just reload the page, make sure. And so put in the product, just make it for a buck. Doesn't matter because nobody's actually ever going to see the product because the order form and the or the OTO link is not actually on the page. So let's open up this page then. And there it is, just like before, Calendly will load up in a second. So that is it. That was the only thing I did is I put in the product and then I took it back out. And that's why it wasn't showing on the list. So just put in the product, make it a buck and just leave it there and everything should be just fine.